Jeff, I can say there are 16 recruits here who desperately need our help. 16 fun and flirty singles looking for love and they want to learn how to cook in order to help that search. I am very scared, but I am up for the task and it is my goal because I know it is yours. Hopefully I make it out of this alive. <laughs> well, this is a unique crop of talent. Yes. Um, so let's go through each of them and right. let everybody know what we think. So, James, I think I can fairly confidently say that James's chocolate pasta dish will be in uh, one of the top 10 worst cooks dishes ever. I am honored to be a part of this. Because yeah. I don't know how that didn't immediately skyrocket to number one. Bless it was like foamy, remember? Like the yes. pasta was foamy. Oh, but just bless his heart. Bless his heart. So, I mean, Allegra, she's very nervous yeah. and trying to make butter chicken with um, like a very thick tomato sauce and a raw broccoli salad that Mimi's, which I think is her grandma's. I mean, I know she, she she's definitely from the South. Yes. And that's something I, I, I would definitely see the broccoli salad on a plate at a Southern picnic. Absolutely. But not that butter chicken. It's just such a strange combination to me. I hope those nerves can calm down because if not, that's not going to help her out. Terry, I can, I can see why she would want to be here. She's very flirty. I just love so much that she's making paella and like, I don't even know if she has rice cooking. I don't even know if she's ever truly had paella. Because <laughs> by the looks of this paella, she doesn't even know what paella is. So Jessica, she seems very spunky. She looks like she's ready to learn, but judging by that spicy honey chicken and broccoli and rice dish, I don't know. We're, we're gonna have to really tear down this house and start from scratch. <laughs> she seems like she's someone that just like, is like, all right, let's get on with it and do it, but has a, always a big smile on her face while that's happening. I mean, Lou, right off the bat, I'm like, she seems nervous, but a very cute little package, and she seems fun. Judging from her mashed potatoes, she really likes the butter. Oh my heavens, I'm still, I couldn't brush it off my tongue for right. two days straight. <laughs> right. But I think there's something to work with, at least she's, overdoing it than underdoing it at this point. Oh, uh, let's talk about Sterling. Multiple right. flyers combined with red food dye in her mac and cheese. I mean, that thing should have come with like a biohazard um, warning. Exactly. <laughs> I know. Like, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I think she needs to grow up a little bit. All right, Amy, who takes Eggs Benedict on a picnic? You know, this must be her idea of romantic, which she's not wrong, but I still like Eggs Benedict. That'd be the number one answer for worst possible picnic <laughs> food. Tanita, AKA Miss Oregon. Oh man. I mean, with the tiara, the, the wave. But then I also just loved that she was gonna make uh, zucchini noodles and she couldn't work out the spiralizer, so she just decided to kind of cut hunks of, of zucchini, and I'm like, what shape of noodles are these? Like, no, not noodles, that's just straight up zucchini. Then. It's raw <laughs> zucchini that was not sauteed, cooked, or spiralized. Right. I mean, it was a far cry from original intention. My first impression of Sammy was, I think the first thing I saw her do was peel a potato with a, a, a rasp. I couldn't fathom how to get the peel off a potato and they wouldn't think to use even a paring knife or, you know, they went for a microplane. I it was a shave. It. it was like a, a close shave. That thing still had a five o'clock shadow on it, <laughs> that potato. Big Mike, Big Michael from Staten Island. He comes onto this scene, big presence. He was intent on making us bacon sliders with some garlic Parmesan fries and a cheese sauce. When you have to restart your burgers three times, you're already you're in a bad spot. To try it three times and to wind up with one single slider. Kermit, my man. All right, I, first impressions of this guy is he is maybe a couple stories in the clouds above everybody else. I think he does want to learn about this stuff and get better. It just might 
be a longer journey for him. He's just not into conflict. He's not into like anything that's sort of uncomfortable yeah. at all for him. <laughs> I'm like, oh, dude, you're in for a rude awakening. I know. All right, so my first impression of Ethereal was uh, you have this guy, he's loud, outgoing, smiling, he's got a rep, he's got a game, and he's frying up some catfish, which looks pretty darn good. It was very even, it was very nice, it was like not crazily overcooked. What I was surprised with is that he's never tasted Dijon mustard before, but he used it in his marinara sauce. Charles, I mean, colorful, interesting character, I mean, you know, like very flamboyant and fun. But we get like at least one of these every season where it's like people decide they need to either create like woodland creatures out of meatloaf or, you know, like a heart out of bell peppers. I am just wondering if he is going to be able to kind of harness yeah. all of that into something that is useful for him. Yeah. So my first impression of Zach was, he seems like just a pretty friendly, kind of square guy, ready to do a good job and please us. And we did this chicken stir fry with a beautiful dome of rice, that maybe an aggressive dome. I mean, I couldn't, I needed a Sherpa to get to the other side of the plate. Right, it was a mountain. But his station was very organized yeah. and clean, so I always find that a bonus on a baseline cook. Oh. All right, so Matthew. He's the one, he's like his family owns like an Italian like grocery or something and he's missed it his whole life. He did not evidently spend a lot of time at home or in the family business in one of his restaurants or markets because he has not absorbed any of that technique or information. Well, it's like a mountain uh, of food and none of it's really discernible. Uh, my first impression of Den's is, all right, we got another funky green hair colored person ready to party and then we get his plate of the lobster the steak desecrated the lobster hammered to death and let's not forget i'm gonna i'm gonna go on record probably a good three quarters of a pound of fresh parsley with this plate of food nobody's gonna be showing up no that. everybody's gonna not only learn how to cook after this boot camp but they are gonna have full nuclear families oh yeah <laughs> jeff morrow guarantee <laughs>